Attention! Did you know that every day, millions of people are taking vitamin supplements with the best intention of protecting their brain and their heart, but are unknowingly increasing their risk of suffering a stroke? Yes, you heard me right. That pill you consider an insurance policy for your health could be turning prevention into a deadly danger. Hello, I'm Dr. Keller, and today we're going to talk about a topic that the supplement industry and many health professionals prefer not to address. There is a widespread belief that if a nutrient is good, more is better, but our body's biochemistry doesn't work that way, especially in older adults. The world's most respected neurologists have discovered something that is alarming the medical community. Excessive supplementation of certain vitamins, far from protecting you, can create an environment prone to blood clots and cerebral hemorrhages. Look, I understand what you're thinking, but doctor, I've taken these vitamins my whole life and I feel fine. You're right, the effects of this risk are silent. They accumulate over time and give no warning until it's too late. For years, we've been sold the idea that supplements are a kind of magic that protects us from a poor diet or from aging, but science is showing us a much more complex reality. I'm going to tell you something that impacted me. For years, we've been sold the idea that supplements are a kind of magic that protects us from a poor diet or from aging, but science is showing us a much more complex reality. I'm going to tell you something that impacted me. A few months ago, a 68-year-old patient, a man who took care of himself, who exercised, and who took supplements religiously, suffered a stroke that left him with partial paralysis. His family was devastated. They couldn't understand how someone who did everything right could have such an attack. The answer was in his pillbox. He was consuming megadoses of a vitamin that, in large quantities, can be lethal to the health of cerebral arteries. In the next few minutes, we're going on a journey that could literally save your life or the life of a loved one. First, I'm going to explain exactly what happens in your body when an excess of these vitamins reaches your brain and why this information is so important that it can be the difference between a full old age and one with serious after effects. Then we will review one by one the five most dangerous vitamins you are probably taking right now. And don't worry because at the end I will give you the safe alternatives, ways to get these nutrients naturally and what I consider the perfect prevention formula. But before we begin, let me know in the comments what country you're watching from so I know how far this important message is reaching. Most of us think that a stroke is something that simply happens to people with bad luck or pre-existing health problems. But the truth is that 85% of strokes, the so-called ischemic strokes, are caused by a blood clot that blocks an artery leading to the brain. And what about the other 15%? Those are hemorrhagic strokes caused by a blood vessel that ruptures and causes bleeding in the brain. Science is showing us that the vitamins I am about to mention can influence both types of stroke by both creating clots and weakening blood vessels. It's a double-edged sword. To understand why certain vitamins are so problematic, you need to visualize what happens in your bloodstream. Imagine that your veins and arteries are highways where blood flows. When a clot forms, it's like a traffic accident on that highway, blocking the flow and causing metabolic chaos in the brain cells that don't receive oxygen. On the other hand, if the highway has weak walls and it breaks, it causes a flood that damages everything around it. Vitamins, especially in high doses, can influence the way your blood clots or the elasticity of your blood vessels. And this is where things can get dramatically complicated. Now let's move on to the first vitamin on our list, vitamin 1, vitamin K. This is, without a doubt, the most controversial vitamin of all, and its relationship with stroke is a subject of intense debate among doctors. But most neurologists agree on one thing. High doses of vitamin K can be extremely dangerous, especially for those taking anticoagulant medications like warfarin. You see, vitamin K is essential for blood coagulation. It's what helps your body form clots to stop bleeding when you get a cut. But when large amounts are consumed through supplements, it can make the blood become too thick, drastically increasing the risk of clots forming in the brain. A study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association found that patients taking vitamin K supplements without medical supervision had a 50% higher risk of blood clots. 
The problem is worsened because vitamin K accumulates in the body and can interfere with medications that are intended to do the exact opposite, prevent coagulation. That's why if you take anticoagulants, your doctor has asked you to monitor your intake of vitamin K-rich foods like spinach or broccoli. But supplementation is a risk many patients don't consider. Now, this doesn't mean you don't need vitamin K. Vitamin K is crucial for your bone and artery health. The key is to get it naturally through a balanced diet, not from supplements. The right amount is what your body absorbs from food, not the concentrated megadoses from a pill. The only exception is if your doctor has specifically prescribed it for a particular condition, and in that case, there must be rigorous monitoring. Vitamin 2, Vitamin B12. When we hear about vitamin B12, we think of energy, nervous system health, memory. And it's true, this vitamin is incredibly important. But what most people don't know is that an excess of vitamin B12 can be a precursor to stroke. The most recent studies have found a worrying connection between high levels of vitamin B12 in the blood and an increased risk of stroke. Why does this happen? Researchers believe that an excess of vitamin B12 can lead to an increase in homocysteine levels. Homocysteine is an amino acid in the blood. In normal levels, it is harmless, but when the levels rise, it can damage the lining of your arteries, making them more rigid, which increases the risk of clots forming and of blood pressure rising. A fascinating study from the University of Bergen in Norway followed thousands of older adults for 10 years and found that those who consumed vitamin B12 supplements without needing to had a 25% higher risk of ischemic stroke. Most of us, especially older adults, can get the vitamin B12 we need from dietary sources like meat, fish, eggs, and dairy. Supplementation should only be considered in cases of confirmed deficiency, such as in people with pernicious anemia or in strict vegans. The problem is that many people take vitamin B12 supplements to feel more energetic without knowing the risk they are assuming. And look, there is a simple way to know if you need this vitamin, a blood test. Don't guess, don't assume. Ask your doctor. Vitamin 3, vitamin C. I know this will surprise you. Vitamin C is the star of vitamins, the queen of health, the antioxidant par excellence. But in megadoses, it can become your worst nightmare for brain health. The science behind this is really interesting. Vitamin C in massive doses can have what is called a pro-oxidant effect instead of an antioxidant one. That is, instead of protecting your cells from damage, it can paradoxically contribute to it. But there's an even more serious risk. Studies have found that high doses of vitamin C can increase the production of a protein called ferritin, which stores iron. In people who already have an excess of iron, this can be a serious problem. Excess iron in the body is toxic and can damage blood vessels, making them more prone to hemorrhages. But the biggest risk is for those with a hereditary disease called hemochromatosis, which causes an excessive accumulation of iron in the body. Dr. John H. from the Mayo Clinic has warned that high doses of vitamin C can accelerate damage in people with this condition, increasing the risk of hemorrhagic strokes. And the risk isn't just for the brain. Excess vitamin C has also been linked to the formation of kidney stones. The solution is simple. You don't need vitamin C supplements. You can easily get it from foods like oranges, strawberries, kiwis, peppers, and broccoli. The recommended daily dose is 75 milaumis for women and 90 milas for men, which you can get with one or two servings of fruits or vegetables a day. Your body can only absorb a fraction of the megadoses that come in supplements, and the rest is eliminated through urine, but the risk to your blood vessels persists. Vitamin 4, Vitamin E. Vitamin E is another giant of the supplement industry, famous for its supposed benefits for the skin, heart, and brain. But in high doses, this fat-soluble vitamin can have an effect similar to anticoagulants, but without the medical supervision they require. Studies have shown that high doses of vitamin E can inhibit platelet aggregation, which makes the blood become more diluted. In theory, this sounds like a good thing for preventing clots, right? The problem is that blood that is too thin is a risk for hemorrhagic strokes.
A crucial study from the University of Maryland that reviewed more than 80 clinical trials found that people taking high doses of vitamin E, more than 400 international units per day, had a 22% higher risk of hemorrhagic stroke. Researchers believe that this blood thinning effect, when not controlled by a doctor, can be catastrophic if a blood vessel in the brain ruptures. Vitamin E has also been associated with a higher risk of death in general, according to a meta-analysis published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. And what's most concerning is that most people get enough vitamin E from their diet through foods like nuts, seeds, spinach, and avocado. Vitamin E deficiency is extremely rare. Therefore, supplementation, especially in high doses, is an unnecessary risk. Vitamin 5 vitamin B6. The last vitamin on our list is another one of the B's, vitamin B6. And this one is particularly insidious because its negative effects do not manifest immediately but accumulate over time. Vitamin B6 is essential for more than 100 enzymatic functions in the body. We need it for metabolism, for nerve function, and for the production of red blood cells. But when consumed in megadoses, it can cause a serious neurological problem that, if not diagnosed, can be a precursor to a stroke. I'm talking about a condition called sensory neuropathy. Neuropathy is damage to the nerves that causes pain, tingling, and, in the most severe cases, loss of sensation in the limbs. But the stroke risk comes from the damage to the myelin, the protective sheath of the nerves. High doses of vitamin B6 can damage the myelin in the nerves of the brain and spinal cord. This not only affects nerve function, but can also weaken the structure of cerebral blood vessels. A study from the Journal of Neurotoxicology found that excessive supplementation of vitamin B6, more than 50 mg per day, can cause irreversible neurological damage. The problem is that many people take B-complex supplements, which often contain doses of B6 far exceeding the recommendation, thinking they are doing their brain health a favor. The reality is that they are increasing a silent risk. The recommended daily dose of vitamin B6 is about 1.5 mg for adults, an amount you can easily get from foods like salmon, chicken, potatoes, and bananas. You see, the key to healthy aging isn't in the shortcuts sold to us by the supplement industries. The key is in real nutrition and a holistic approach to health. Nature has given us everything we need to live a long and healthy life, and supplementation should be a precision tool, not a blind solution. What most professionals don't tell you is that the interaction between nutrients is what really matters. Zinc needs copper to work, calcium needs vitamin D, and iron needs vitamin C. When you take an isolated vitamin in megadoses, you are breaking that delicate balance. Now that we have reviewed the five most dangerous vitamins, I want to give you the perfect prevention formula that I recommend to all my patients. You don't need a pillbox full of supplements to protect your brain. You need a strategy. First, prioritize real food. The nutrients in foods come in the perfect proportions your body needs and are accompanied by other compounds that enhance their absorption and effects. Second, supplement only out of necessity. If you suspect you have a deficiency, don't guess. Ask your doctor for a blood test. Supplementation should be an informed medical decision, not a habit. Third, review your family history. If you have a history of strokes, clotting problems, or nutritional deficiencies, you should be even more careful and consult a specialist. Remember, the best investment you can make in your brain health is a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats. The antioxidants from blueberries, the omega-3s from salmon, and the fiber from vegetables are the real insurance policy for your brain. There is no pill that can match the power of real food. I hope this video has given you the information you need to take control of your health. Prevention is the best medicine and now you have the necessary knowledge to make decisions that will protect your brain for many years to come. Take great care.